Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who may not be aware, I am Love of Fragrance and on this channel I highly recommend fragrances to you, fragrances that I love, fragrances that I admire. I don't proclaim to be a fragrance expert or a perfumer and I do not have my own fragrance line or anything like that. And I'm not an expert, I'll say that several times, I'm not an expert. I am not a specialist in fragrances, I'm just a fragrance lover and I love them so much that I just want to share that love with you. So without any further communication on that, I just want you to understand that it's pretty humid in here so I'm trying to hurry up and get through with this video so that I can take this jacket off because I only put it on for this video, like I said it's warm in here fragrances that I have for you today are by a child actress well a couple of child actresses and they are Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen I'm sure you've probably heard of them they're both females when they completed their childhoods as actresses they established a fly fashion line and that fashion line also consists of some fragrances and the name of the fragrance company that they provide to their fragrances happens to be Nerova. Nerova happens to be the branding name but the fragrance names itself happens to be Elizabeth and James and Elizabeth and James are the names that they provided the fragrance because it's named after their younger brother and sister and when you, you and Elizabeth Jane fragrances come in a package of three this particular collection. It comes in a package of three editions with individual sets. And like I said, the name is Nairava of this particular collection line. But they all are individual fragrances and you can purchase them individually, but however they are extremely affordable. These containers that the fragrance happened to be in were designed for simplicity and modernization and the design overall is represents luxury but yet still modernization but it's representation of simplicity of modernization as you can see all three of this here collection are designed the same with the gold plate on the sides and all around and through the center I think that's highly luxury luxurious I think that's highly luxurious but however these come in individual sets and this one here Nairava Amethyst oh my god it has such a lovely fragrant aroma applied to it and before I get into that let me tell you each and every one of these has their own individual price range none of them are priced the same I have no idea why but none of them are priced the same but they have individual price ranges but yet and still they're designed the same uh, but the scents and the notes applied to these fragrances are individual this one has the notes of tobacco cedar and cedar spices applied to it it's <clears throat> the ingredients in this one maintains an exceptional amount of simplicity as well with the notes but the fragrance itself it's very it happens to be very 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 passionately luxurious it's um a simple fragrance with some simplified notes in it that establish a very 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 sophisticated scent and like I said with this one when you have here the tobacco <clears throat> to some extent it dominates the overall aroma but then the spices penetrate themselves and elevate themselves and then they overpower the tobacco so when you get your dry down in this particular fragrance you're gonna have an excessive amount of spiciness to apply and also a hint of sweetness 
And I assume that the sweetness comes from some type of spices within this fragrance. But overall, it's a beautiful scent. It's lovely. I do recommend this fragrance to you. It's like I said before, it's very affordable. Designed by Mary Kate and Ashley Olson. But it's named Elizabeth and Jane. So don't be surprised when you have several fragrances that are named by Elizabeth and Jane because I find it a little complicating also when the fragrance is named Elizabeth and Jane's. But yet and still, even though it's named Elizabeth and Jane, it's named after a company called Nairavana. But the fragrance name happens to be Elizabeth and Jane's. So don't find it complicated to comprehend that whenever you're looking for Mary Kate and Ashley Olson fragrances, you're going to have to look under the name Elizabeth and James. And these fragrances come in the sizes of 30 milliliters and 50 milliliters. As you can see, they're all of the same size. Different fragrances, different scents, but same size, but different price ranges as well. So I recommend the Amethyst Elizabeth and James fragrance to you. I'll just say that. It's a lot more simple. <laughs> and the next one I have to present to you comes from also Elizabeth and James from Mary Kate and Ashley Osa. And the containers are identical. Beautiful. And this one I think would be like the 50 milliliters as well. And this one for some reason has a price range that's a lot more excessive than the other two that I'm going to present to you. Well, this one is like in the middle of the price range overall. This one here comes to you. Oh my God. As a more detailed, ex expressive scent. It's so expressive to the point where you detect an exceptional amount of sweetness in here because of the peonies. It has an exceptional amount of peonies in this fragrance and lily of the valley and also musk. You can smell the musk elevating itself so excessively in this fragrance because of the fact that it has that gourmand scent, but yet it still has a little drawback, and the musk causes it to have a little drawback so that it won't be excessively, overly, poweringly sweet. But it's gentle. It's a gentle, peaceful, pleasant scent that I highly admire and I recommend this one to you as well. And this here happens to be, overall, I'm not going to say it's my favorite of the three, but this one I prefer to be one more appropriate for an evening occasion. Yes, and I would say that this amethyst was one here that I introduced to you would be more appropriate, I think, for a work environment, like an executive position. So, each one of them are designed for individual occasions. And this one's for after five, I, th I think an evening occasion would be more appropriate for this one because it gives you that more, more romantic vibe. And the next one I have to present to you happens to be, this one is Nairava, Nairava Black. Elizabeth James Black. And as I stated before, they all are scented with individual notes, but everything else pertaining to them are pretty much identical, except for the price range. Now, this one right here happens to be the most expensive one overall. I can't give you the correct or the direct cost of these fragrances. However, I think they're pretty affordable, but some are a little bit more expensive than the other ones. And they have their own individual price ranges. But with the black one, it has a great deal more notes applied to this fragrance. An excessive amount of more notes applied to it. And it even have like some violet within this fragrance. It has the vanilla, the woodedness, the sandalwood, and all of the more hard, harsh notes applied to this to give it more character. The reason why this one has a more harsh scent applied to it because these two fragrances right here now this one is definitely elizabeth 
And this one right here is a unisex. And this one right here is James. Remember I told you they named their fragrances Elizabeth? Remember I told you Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen named their fragrances Elizabeth and James after their siblings which are younger than them. Now this one is this one is very feminine. So this is Elizabeth. This one right here is a little bit more masculine. So this is James. And the Elizabeth James Black, they named this one, they, they classified this one as a unisex. And trust me, when I smell the scent like this right here, it was very prevalent that this has the notes compiled in it that grants it that questionable aroma. Where it's not exactly going to be specifically designed for either or, sex-wise. It's designed for, no one is specific. It's designed specifically for either or. So, when you smell this, you're like, hmm, I don't know what to think about it. I don't know what to think about this. I really didn't know what to think about it. You see, it's hot in here. I'm sweating. I didn't really know what to think about it. I kept trying to determine exactly what it smelled like, but then I come to realize this right here is a unisex scent. Which I I would say that this may be maybe one of my first unisex scents. I might classify this one as the first one. I'm not sure. I might have something in there that a lot of men like to wear. But most of my fragrances has a feminine aroma applied to them. Those are the ones that I generally recommend to you. I don't recommend any really, really harsh, dark scents to women. And I don't like a man that may prefer... A female scent on his body. I don't like him smelling too sweet. I like to smell sweet. I don't want my, my significant other smelling sweeter than I do. So therefore, I don't know what to think about this one because I was actually thinking that it was appropriate for me. But if it's unisex, I guess they designed it so it would be. But if it's unisex, I don't know how I'm going to deal with that. Of what particular occasion I would prefer to have this fragrance for it smells in a way like it might be a little bit more sporty if a woman was going to try to wear a unisex fragrance a woman like Bonsal with my specifications for my type of fragrances with this scent knowing that it's a unisex I would have to say it smells a little bit more appropriate for sport time sporty wear if I'm going to wear it that's what I would use it for so that I would have some type of aroma on my body when I start perspiring or with that mixed with that perspiration and you want to smell elegant and attractive and not musty or musty you know musky or musty I would think this would be appropriate for a woman for a workout or something because it doesn't really grant you that feminine aroma so since it doesn't necessarily have a feminine aroma I must admit this one was designed for James, but I must, I perceive that this one has more of a feminine aroma than this one, the unisex one. Let's try this again. Yeah, there's a hint of gourmand sin in that, and I like that, but this one, not so much. It's not an unpleasant, it's not an unpleasant aroma. I think it's nice and pleasant but you be the judge I'm going to let you be the judge of it but anyways I just want you to understand that this black one here it also has an exceptional amount of powderiness to it it isn't highly detectable but it has wood in it also and a little bit of powderiness and it's supposed to have some vanilla in it but I don't smell any vanilla and it has violet I don't really smell the violet I don't smell any of those feminine notes in here but I think I will sustain this one as my workout fragrance. And I love the simplicity of the bottle overall. I love the entire design. I love the concept. I love the idea. I love the originality of these fragrances. I love everything that they invested into the thought process of originating this overall design and the creation of it and the emancipation of the notes as a whole. I love the notes that they have applied to these fragrances individually, but I will not say that, I 
I don't like the name of the company. <laughs> it's too complicated to say. But other than that, I don't have any complaints with Mary Kate and Ashley's fragrances. In all actuality, this was not intended to be a celebrity fragrance view, but I think I might let it fall into that category since they are celebrities. And I just wanted to thank you so much for tuning in, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Have a nice evening. Bye.